possession. A quick release. Open look here for Chapman, and it's around it up. And Slattery's rebound. He falls in about seven a game. Look at Clark. Yes! Caitlin Clark's finest WNBA game ends Indianapolis Women's Sports Weekend. Though genuine, it felt like a dream. It's what Title IX campaigners, parents coaching their girls, and the nation have been waiting for, and it happened on five city blocks in the midst of America for 18 hours Saturday night to Sunday afternoon. Katie Ledecky, the greatest female swimmer in history, won the 400 freestyle at the U.S. Olympic swimming trials on Saturday at 8.40 p.m. local time in front of 20,689 fans at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Ledecky earned the biggest stage a swimmer has ever had. Move to Sunday. Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever defeated Angel Reese and the Chicago Sky, 91-83 in Clark's greatest game of the early WNBA season at Gainbridge Fieldhouse at 2.05 p.m. Not all sellouts are, but this one was. To put Indiana ahead by 7, 84-77, Clark hit her third three-pointer of the game with 3.06 left to play. The arena was packed to the rafters. I hadn't seen or heard anything like that since Ledecky's stadium ovation 18 hours earlier a 12-minute walk from Clark's. Tiger, LeBron, Kobe, and Michael are well-known to sports fans. Women occasionally appear. I immediately think of Serena. Christine Brennan newsletter in your inbox. Get Christine Brennan's latest story in your inbox. Your email delivery varies. If we ever questioned there will be more, we can stop. Katie. Caitlin. Angel. Clark looked Iowa comfortable, playing all but three minutes and scoring a game-high 23 points with nine assists and eight rebounds, while her longtime rival Reese played brilliantly under the boards with 13 rebounds and 11 points. Both are excelling in the WNBA, linked since college and possibly for their whole pro careers. Caitlin Clark, 22, dribbles around Marina Mabry, 4, of the Chicago Sky on Sunday at Gainbridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. A moment Sunday brought them together that will assure this rivalry continues, which is excellent even if it wasn't. At 2.53 in the third quarter of a close game, Reese hit Clark in the head while driving to the hoop. The foul was flagrant one, and Clark, steady Eddie at the line, hit both free throws to extend the fever advantage to three. Clark stated she was thinking, I need to make these two free throws, after Reese's flagrant foul. I only think about that. Simply part of basketball. It is. Reese had some choice words at the officials. The play was basketball. I have no influence over refs. Their impact on the game today was clear. I always pursue the ball. You'll play that clip 20 times before Monday. Maybe 20 times before dinner and 200 before Monday. It's okay. Actually, that's good. Today's women's sports includes something for everyone. The time and moment are long overdue, but they're here in Indianapolis heart. It's really cool, Clark replied when I questioned her and her teammates about this town-wide event. I loved women's soccer, basketball, and other sports as a kid. I always wore it. Supporting it was always my goal. I think it illustrates that women's sports are fantastic and exciting to watch when given the chance. Only rising. I think people are finally realizing how great a product they have when they play on national television or in big stadiums where people can buy tickets. Once they see it, they can't get enough and keep coming back. On Sunday, her teammate Aaliyah Boston had 19 points and 14 rebounds as her game has come alive. She offered the appropriate coda. It's amazing that younger girls now have so many athletes to idolize and say, I want to be like her. This occurred exactly one week before June 23rd. Important because Title IX turns 52 on that day.
Is there a better early birthday present? Jones. 